Hello, my awesome friends. Continuing with our video series on autopilot and turbo scanner strategies. Today, I'll show you Walmart eBay dropshipping automation strategy for beginners. You will learn how to find items using our new product research automation tool, the autopilot, and also how many items to list every day. Now, when we're bulk list on eBay, we have to be aware of the risks and the challenges. Listing too many items too fast can cause account suspension and it can also result in a low sell through rate and as low sales. Just to make clear again that beginner strategy fits anyone who uh, start is just started dropshipping or anyone who's starting to use bulk listing and automation for the first time. So even if you already dropship on eBay for a while, but you never listed in, in, in bulk and you're listing items, uh, listing products manually, this is the training you need to start with bulk listing and automation. Let's start with some numbers and rules. In your first month, you should not list more than 300 items. And that means you can list 10 items per day to constantly list new items every day because you're limited in the quantity of items or selling limits, right? So you should focus on high quality items. However, when you source from Walmart, you have to take in consideration the minimum value per order and see if the items you pick are in the range of free shipping or not. Or at least when getting started, you want to source items of $35 or more Walmart price, okay? To make sure you will have free shipping. So with this in mind, you want to focus on products with high demand and low competition and selling price above $35. So let's run the first scanner with autopilot um, with Walmart as a supplier. And then we'll go over the filters uh, to use as a beginners and everything. Okay, so computer time. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here we are in the autopilot and let's click new scan. So we choose Walmart as a supplier. We name our scan it could be test one. And uh, just a reminder that you don't have to use all the filters, all right? And um, if you don't want to use a filter, you can just leave it empty. And then go to categories as a beginner. I would select them all except Walmart for business. And then you save. Now, review count and average rating. So because Walmart and on Walmart, buyers tend to leave less reviews, I suggest you to keep this off, all right? And the review account as well, like leave it empty. And then you click here, sold by Walmart. And then competition, I would go for max of 20 competitors, all right? And now sales, look, you, you have to play around here a little bit, okay? You can either put two minimum sales if you go for a data range of seven days or four uh, minimum sales if you go for 14 days. Play around to see, or you could either place here two sales for the last 21 days as well. It, it, it's a, you have to play around, see the results that you get and feel comfortable with it, all right? And then the minimum price should be 35. Since we're looking for products at Walmart, at least $35 to guarantee free shipping, okay? And the return investment, I would place here 0.15 return investment because we want to find products that have high return on investment, all right? So we have room to undercut the prices of our competitors or at least sell for the same price. I personally prefer not to list higher prices. And then the sell through rate and successful rate, you can leave it empty, no problem at all. And then numbers of products. I suggest to put a higher number of 10. It could be 20 or it could be 30 products. And the reason is that I'm placing the number here, more than 10 items, is that I'll have more margin to be able to filter out all the Vero items that might come up the results, all right? So you click here, start your scan. All right, so you see here they showed 20 products found. And then what you do now, you click here. Well, and as, as you can see here, it shows all the results, right? And it has Vero uh, brands. And then you can see it's the eBay photo, the supplier photo, eBay titles, supplier title, eBay price, supplier price, sell through, sales, competition, profit, and return on investment. Now, after we get the results, it's time for optimization. Because our goal is 300 items per month, 
So it should be your first 300 items you're gonna list, right? So I suggest you to optimize the listings as much as possible. Titles, price, description, images, you know, just take, take some time to invest in your listings and, and build a, a strong, high-performing store. And for to optimize the titles, I highly suggest you to use Zix uh, Title Builder. And if you don't know how to use it, well, we have many tutorials on it and have YouTube videos on it. And then what you do, let's go back here to the results. And then how, how do you upload them, right? So you can select them all to your lister and shows here. And then you select the lister, the marketplace that you want, the store, the title, and then you have the options here of excluding Vero brands and restricted items and just upload the listings, okay? Another option is to export them to CSV and then you have the same options here to exclude Vero brands and uh, restricted keywords. All right, guys, and that's it. You can return here and then you can also play here a little bit with numbers, especially the amount of sales according to the sales date range. And that's it, let's go back to the camera. So the autopilot feature is a huge time saver without compromising on quality. So we took automation to the next level to help you achieve better results in less time. Now the autopilot is available on the enterprise plan in Zik Analytics and we currently have 50% off for the first month. So you should take advantage of that. Anyway, let me know what do you think by commenting below and stay tuned for more eBay automation videos they are coming up and look I can't wait to see you there and remember that opportunities don't happen you create them as Chris Grosser says so keep moving forward and see you next time